I'm thinking maybe there'd be like these pop tart pa pop tart pastries that would be macaroni and cheese flavor. Hi everyone. Hi everyone, and welcome back to Pea Brain Blendin. Today, I will be blending some crispy chicken nuggets and a cherry flavored pop tart. Now, before I start adding the food to the blender, this was originally going to be chicken nuggets with a blueberry pop tart. But when I went to the grocery store just the other day to pick up the flavor, they were sold out. So I just had to go with cherry as a substitute. Sorry about that. So, the chicken nuggets all in like little pieces. And I got a bad feeling they're not really gonna cut up too well. So, for the first time ever in this episode of Pea Brain Blending, I will, I will not be using the mince button. I'm gonna grind it instead, which is the next level up for the blender speed. Okay, all right, here's the last uh, few pieces of chicken nuggets. And as always, a little bit of water to help the blended mixture. And there you have it. Cover on. All right, first time ever, the grind button. Ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> it almost kind of looks like a peanut butter strawberry smoothie at this glance. This mixture kind of looks familiar in a way. Oh my god. You know what it actually looks like? Dippin' Dots. I have not seen Dippin' Dots in quite a while. Are they out of business now? I don't think so, it's just we don't have very many of them here in Bangor, Maine. But, this is very deceiving at Dippin' Dots. After all, there's chicken inside. I don't have a very good smell, let me go up close like this. I do smell, you know what, I actually smell both the cherry and the chicken. Well, regardless, here we go. I'm gonna call this Chicken Cherry Dippin' Dots, which is the blended mixture of chicken nuggets and cherry pop tarts. Here we go. <laughs> you know, it's not the worst thing that I've had so far, but I'm gonna get one more spoonful just to make sure. Yeah. I'm getting this very uneven wave of sodium and sugar in my mouth. The sodium from the chicken and the sugar from the pop tart. In a way, it tastes a little uncomfortable, so it's still not the greatest thing that I mix, but so far from the worst. So with that being said, do I remember mixing a cherry pop tart and chicken nuggets together and have you consume the result? No. Just don't do it. If I were to blend the blueberry pop tart, which I couldn't find of course, I think the uh, the result would have been just the same. Because blueberry and cherry pop tarts, they're very sugary, uh, what do you call them, confectionaries, or breakfast items, or whatnot. No matter what flavor pop tart you put in with chicken nuggets, I think the result would just be the same exact thing. Well speaking of pop tarts, I think I mentioned this once way back in... I know what it is now. It was my special video that I made when I celebrated a thousand subscribers. And I mentioned that there should be a Pop-Tart brand out there that would have a flavor that's not like what Pop-Tart does with their fruit and chocolate flavors. So I'm thinking maybe there'd be like these Pop-Tart pa Pop -Tart pastries that would be macaroni and cheese flavor. And then there's mashed potatoes and sirloin steak flavor. Maybe for us here in Maine, there'd be a lobster flavor. Tuna fish flavor. What else? Maybe a beef ravioli flavor and so on. I like to coin it as poop tarts. <laughs> Please, can someone like trademark that word and make these weird flavored 
pastries called poop tarts. It would be really, really awesome. Then again, I don't think anyone would buy it if, this, if it says the word poop in the title, but it's just my imagination. So with that being said, I'm gonna call it good right there. That is the cherry pop tart and chicken nugget blended mixture. Like I said, it's not the worst thing that I had. It's very far from the worst, but in a way, it's still a little uncomfortable. So just don't go for it, just to be on the safe side. Okay, that's gonna do it for this pea brain blending. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for more. And don't forget to check out my gaming channel, Marcus P Gaming, for video game let's play content. I will see you later. But until then, like always. Take care.